What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case anybody is new here and in this video we're going to be going over a quick little trade recap on a trade that I did in which we how do I put this? What's the most enticing way to say this? In which we more than doubled our money overnight. Yes, right? Okay, cool. So we made about a $2,770 profit. It shows here. Now, I got into the trade yesterday, and when the day ended yesterday, I had about a loss of $100 or $120. So that resets. Now, with me having $2,770 here, we have to subtract that $100 that I was down yesterday, which puts us at about $2,670. And that's the total profit on the trade. So obviously, I'm going to go break down the orders for you guys so you guys can see all of that. And in this video, it's not going to be too crazy or too detailed. Um, I try to focus on certain things in each video that I do. Some videos, I like to focus on just doing a recap. Some videos, I like to focus on, oh, the stock was going down. Here's how we made money. Some videos are like, oh, well, hey, we made a large percentage profit. Some videos are on a small account building that. Some videos are for, you know, what is it? going and showing you like the dynamics of the trade some are for showing you how i like you know plan the trade how i raise my stops some are actually showing you everything some are literally saying why i got into the trade all of that so i like to focus on different things in this particular one because of the fact that it was a trade that it was overnight and we more than doubled our money that's what I kind of want to focus on here. So it's just going to be a quick trade recap. If you do want to know about all the other stuff that goes into it, like, oh, why'd you get into this trade here? How did you manage this? Why'd you manage that? Or why are you all upside down here? I don't know. Um, go watch the other videos. I just like to mix it up a little bit, keep people on their toes and keep their attention and I don't know, just keep it dynamic for people. So anyways, let's just jump into it here now that I kind of briefed you guys. Uh, we were, what were we doing here? What's wrong here? Uh, we're missing the buy order. I have to go to this one and put it back. No, two days. And here we go. Okay, perfect. So now we're on this right screen here. So basically what we're working with is I was trading only two contracts here. Nothing too crazy on this one. And I was trading calls. I had next week expiration because I knew that I was I was pretty certain I was going to hold this trade overnight. I entered the trade like 30 minutes before the market closed. So, I mean, obviously I wasn't expecting magic to happen just right within the last 30 minutes. It definitely could have, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I was expecting to hold it overnight, so I planned accordingly, and I got next week expiration because of the time value and all that, yada, yada, yada. You know, we talk about that in other, vi our other videos and all that. So, um, just highlighting the fact that I had two contracts, got into it yesterday right before the market closed, about 30 minutes before the market closed. I had calls, and I had two of them at the price of 1190 So, the way options works for anyone that's new is one is equivalent to 100 So, if it shows $11.90... That's actually $1,190. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, $1,190. So, because I had two of them, for me, I paid, and the cost of this trade was $2,380. So, basically, the cost of the trade was $2,380, and we made a profit of about $2,600. So, we more than doubled our money. Um, you can even look at it from the perspective of saying, okay, it was $12 even. $12 even, which is $1,200 even. So, you know, 12 times 2 is 24. So 2,400 could have been the cost of the trade, for example, uh, just to work with round numbers here for anyone that likes to keep track of it that way. And then the next morning, and then it wasn't exactly right out of the open, although I could have taken a profit out of the open, it wouldn't have been as big of a profit. Um, so about maybe three hours after the market was open and kind of did its thing, that's when I went and I closed out the trade. Uh, so, I mean, it technically was overnight, you know, yesterday to this morning, you know, however you want to look at it. Uh, but I sold them for $2,520 each. So basically from $1,200 each, selling them for $2,500 each. So since I had two of them, $2,520 times two, sorry, I want to make sure I give you guys the right number, is $5,040. So the cost of the trade was $2,380 because we had two of them at $1,190. So $1,190 times two, that's $2,380. That's the cost of the trade. That doesn't mean that's what we're risking. That's just what we put into it. You know, I always use my used car example. If you go buy a used car for, you know, $2,000 and, you know, you find out something's wrong with it, you're not just going to go jump it off, drop it off at the junkyard. You know, maybe you'll go sell it to someone else, $1,500, take a loss, maybe spend some more money on it, um, sell it for, you know, less. You guys get my point. I'm not here to break down the whole economics of car sales for you guys, but, I mean, if you want me to, let me know. I'll go just put it in the comments. We'll have a conversation. Anyway, so cost of the trade, 2380 and then we sold it for 5040 
So you basically subtract 2,380 from the 5,040, and that's where you get 2,660. So the total profit on the trade was 2,660. If you remember, I said I had about a hundred dollar loss yesterday on the trade. That loss kind of resets in terms of how it shows you on the profit loss day here. Um, so I was technically up 2,770 today, but because I was in it yesterday and it closed with a hundred dollar loss. Um, you know, that's the total profit you guys can calculate there. So anyways, now that we spent quite a bit of time on that, let's just go in and break it down on the chart for you guys so you guys can kind of see how it went along with the stock price. And that's that'll pretty much wrap it up here. I don't want to get too long on this video because then I feel like people get upset and I lose their attention. Um, so I could actually just do it on the one minute one. That's not a big deal. So I was in the trade right around, let me get some arrows for you guys here, the right there we don't really need an arrow that's just right where i got into the trade basically as it gave a little dip to the 220 area i figured all right let's see um you know if it can hold that area and i was thinking it could hold it at least you know bounce up and you know hold that and overnight maybe we get a little bounce um it did kind of flush below that area a little bit into the close but i figured all right it didn't necessarily hit my stop or anything like that um, so I was happy to hold it. My stop was, I believe, like right on the 217.50. I think I might have given myself a little bit of a cushion there. Um, but it didn't hit my alert, and I said, all right, let's hold it overnight because, again, like I mentioned, you know, I wasn't expecting magic to just happen in the last 30 minutes of the market. Um, I knew that I might have needed to hold it overnight, so that's what I did. And it gapped up, and it opened right around the 226 area. Like I mentioned, I could have taken a profit out the open, um, but obviously I didn't, and it gave a little bit of a dip down. So you technically could have entered the trade as well today. I mean... You wouldn't have had to have paid much more if you caught it right at the lows. But either way, that's besides the fact here. I'm not supposed to be talking about that. We're supposed to just keep it nice, condensed, highlight the options of how I made this profit overnight. So we basically paid $11.90 for the options here, the calls that I had right here. And then I sold it. I believe it was $9.41. Let me just confirm, which was right around here. right around right below the 240 area kind of dropped below it again i was watching it right around here um you know i raised some stops and see this is the part where i say we don't really need to get into because i bore people and they start exiting the video and if you guys want to learn all that kind of stuff then go watch the probably the previous video i made probably highlights that um but anyways that that's really it guys so i got into here right around the 220 area and i closed it right around the 240 area and we had a profit. I mean, we more than doubled our money. We paid eleven ninety here, and we closed it for twenty five twenty here. That's where we basically had a profit of about two thousand six hundred and sixty. We can say two thousand seven hundred just to be you know simple and easy for anybody out there that's okay with that. Uh, but that's really that, guys. Um, again, I know it was just a quick video, just talking about this, talking about that. Um, and and you know, I'm not trying to say it's not going to go higher. It definitely could. This this name has kind of been wild and out recently and popping up, pop, lock, and drop it, and then he pop, he dropped it and locked it again i don't know guys he's making up his own dance moves here so this is the part where i start rambling so i gotta wrap it up hope you guys enjoyed the video here um if you want to just join something i'll put links in the description below that you can join if you want to follow me on social media i'll put those links there as well who's bijan t on all social media platforms so you guys can all add me there as well uh, that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are having a great day having a great night just have a great life and i will talk to you all soon